up, guys? Welcome back for week seven of the GBA. This week we are taking on Monatui and his Tampa Bay Lux Rays. Um, I've pretty much given up at this point. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, it's uh, it's not a good feeling uh, to be where I am right now. Uh, I'm gonna get a little further from my mic because that was probably really loud. I turned up my gain. Uh, but I have a pretty decent matchup going into this. A couple of things uh, that I know that Mono has to bring uh, that you see on your screen. For example, uh, the Keldeo has to be Scarfed uh, for Megalophony or else it kind of just runs through him. Uh, the Dragalge is probably a little bit more of a bulkier set. Uh, we've got the uh, the Rotom, which I didn't expect to come, but it's a, it's a pretty good bring against me. Uh, Palisan makes sense, uh, as I do have the Zapdos, and uh, Water Compaction is a really good ability against me. It, it checks the, uh, the Scallopede really nicely. Uh, as he's able to take Aqua Tails and then just shore up. Uh, Zardex, kind of obvious bring, and uh, Slow King as well was uh, was one of his uh, multiple checks to uh, Lopini defensively. So uh, let me go over my sets for you before we uh, we click start uh, on the battle and I uh, give you the post narration. So Lopini is, um, is, of course, it's a mega Lopini. It's um, adamant with enough speed on it for uh, the Weavile that I expect him to bring, which is enough speed for my... Uh, for my Scallopede. Uh, we have Return, Power Up, Punch, High Jump, Kick, and Fake Out. It's a very standard set. Uh, then we have Jar, the uh, the Gorgeist Super. I have a Culver Berry uh, with Seed Bomb, Will-O-Wisp, Leech Seed, and Synthesis. This thing can put in a lot of work. It's mainly my Keldeo check, of course. As you can see, it's the best thing that I have on my team to check the Keldeo. Uh, we have Eric, the Mudsdale, uh, with Earthquake, Roar, Stealth Rocks, and Rest. Uh, max Defense and uh, almost max HP as well with 12 Spit F. Uh, this was uh, to check the, the Zardex. Mainly, Roar and Earthquake uh, could deal with it, uh, for the most part. And Rest was a tech I put on there because uh, Mono does like to run Toxic, and I know this now, and you guys will see why that's uh, that's such a big deal, this game. Uh, then we, we brought an Offensive Milotic, uh, Life Orb, Surf, Hidden Power Electric, Ice Beam, and Recover. If you look at his team, that actually destroys his entire team. I have a lot of speed on here, I'm Modest with 248. Uh, in my special attack, and then I have 84 HP, so uh, the idea is to call mine pass into this, uh, so I'll explain my uh, my Sylveon after. Uh, second to last, we have Fortress, Alphonse, with Volt Switch, Counter, Earthquake, and Spikes. Uh, counter was on there for the Zard. Uh, if I'm at full, then he goes for a fire move, and I counter him, and he's dead. Uh, that's why I have a little bit of HP investment. I'm, too, I'm 52 HP. I have enough speed for Dragalge speed creeping my uh, my Sylveon, and then I have uh, 252 attack with Max uh, on there. And I was a minus spit F nature, so that Volt Switch would do a little bit more to the uh, the Zard on the Switch, the Keldeo, uh, the Slow King, all of those things that are weak to Electric. Chip them down a little bit more. So uh, that's that. And then finally we have Nui, a Max HP, Max Defense. Uh, with a, uh, a bold nature. Hyper Voice, Calm Mind, Wish, and Baton Pass. Now, I considered not running Hyper Voice this game, and instead running Heal Bell. And if you look at his team, he has a very hard time dealing with Sylveon if he can't whittle it down. And Calm Mind plus Wish plus Heal Bell would do that for me. And then the idea would be to pass all of that into my Lotic, seeing that the majority of his team is special attackers outside of Zard. Uh, and my Lotic would just be able to completely wreck his team, one set plus six plus six. So you guys are going to see why uh, why or why not that pans out. So uh, we're going to move into the game here. I'm going to move this to normal. Sorry about that. Uh, he's going to lead Palisand. I'm going to lead uh, Megalopony, and uh, I'm going to get off a fake out and then into a high jump kick crit. The crit didn't matter. I would have uh, Okoed him on the following turn with a return or even a high jump kick. Uh, so I'm going to go for the return here, get off 45% on this slow king. I switch out into my Sylveon thinking I'm going to be okay. And he goes for Toxic, and I'm like, okay, this is going to be annoying because now Call Mind and Wish Passing uh, is going to be really, uh, really much harder. So I'm going to go for the Call Mind here, and he's going to bring in his Zard immediately, and uh, I'm actually going to Baton Pass right away, uh, rather than, because uh, I'm thinking, okay, I get this into Mudsdale, I'm going to be fine, and uh, I'm just going to go for Rocks here on the following turn. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going to roar him out because he's actually quite dangerous. Then I'm going to go for Rocks on his Dragalge because I'm plus one, plus one. Uh, Spit F hits aren't hitting me that hard either. Uh, I'm going to get out as he brings in his Rotom, I'm going to go into my uh, my Gorgeist, and I'm going to see that he's Electrium Z, but he also has Defog, and that is a huge, huge problem, because his Zard can come in whenever it wants. Uh, I'm going to go for a Leech Seed on this turn, knowing that he's probably not going to stay in with his Rotom. Uh, he goes into Dragalge, and then he doubles out into his Zard, uh, and I bring in my Fortress. Now, right here, uh, I, th I thought about, I'm going to try to pause it if I can get my mouse onto the screen, hold on. Where the heck is my mouse? Okay. So, as you guys saw... Uh, we're going to back up a turn, 
And uh, you guys saw the Zard come in as I went into Fortress. Fortress was there to, uh, to take advantage of the fact that his uh, Dragalge was Leech Seated. Now, you, saw, you guys saw what happened. Uh, I clicked Volt Switch on this turn, thinking that Mono might scout for the counter. Uh, but I guess it was too uh, brilliant of a tech, and uh, he didn't see it coming. So he just straight up clicks Flare Blitz as I go for the Volt Switch. I thought he might Dragon Dance, uh, as that was a decent opportunity if he was a bulkier set. I thought he might go for the uh, the Dragon Claw to break the Sturdy, anything of that nature. But instead, he just goes for the Flare Blitz as I click Volt Switch. I could have killed the Zard, and that would have alleviated Gorgeist for essentially the rest of the game. But instead, I end up going for Volt Switch, and I'm going to get in my Muds. Dale here. I'm going to attempt to get back up my rocks on this turn, I believe, as I force in his Rotom, I force him to defog, uh, but that doesn't gain me much because even if he defogs, uh, I'm back to square one with this Gorgeist, and I'm forced to click Leech Seed as he, uh, he just goes for Thunderbolt this time, knowing that the rest of his team can be seeded. Uh, I'm going to go for another Leech Seed on this following turn, uh, as we do get it on the Zard. So that's going to weaken it a little bit. I know he's probably going for Roost on this turn, uh, but I'm going to go into Mudsdale anyway just to play it safe as uh, we're going to keep this thing down at around 86%. He's going to go into his Keldeo. I double into my Lop. Uh, obviously, this is free fake out, and uh, he has a Rocky Helmet Mon, so I'm going to predict him to go into it, and I'm going to go into my Gorgeist. That also covers him attacking me with the with the Keldeo on that turn. Now, I'm going to Synth up, and unfortunately, he does get a Toxic off on our Gorgeist. So now we have two Mons toxic so this is not going to be good for the end game. Uh, if Gorgeist wasn't toxic uh, it could have had a lot of longevity against his team, as you can see. Seeds, uh, I can Will-O-Wisp this Rotom at any time. He's going to go for Thunderbolt. I'm going to heal up here, uh, as I want to keep this thing a little bit higher in health. I'm down to 57 now, so I'm going to switch out into my Mudsdale, as he's going to go for another Thunderbolt. I'm going to predict the uh, Leaf Storm on this turn, and I'm going to go out into my Fortress just to sack it, give him the minus 2, and uh, then I can pretty much freely... Uh, go back into Mudsdale because his Leaf Storm won't kill me, and I believe I get back up my rocks. Yes, I do. As he's going to bring in his Keldeo, I'm going to bring back back in Jar. I see that he has Choice Scarf from frisking him, and he's going to attempt to go for a Toxic. Even though two of my Mons are already Toxic, he still wants more. Uh, that's Mono for you. Uh, I'm going to double out into Lop here, knowing that he's probably not going to stay in his Keldeo. I'm going to go for the Fake Out, and then I'm just going to go for the uh, Return on the following turn. Knock out his Palisand on the Sack. And uh, rocks are up now, so this isn't looking too, too bad. Uh, I might be able to grab some differential back. He's going to go into Slow Gang again. Uh, I'm going to go back into Nui, our uh, Sylveon. See, this is where if I had Heal Bell right here, I would go for it and then start Calm Mining and Wishing and being able to get myself back up to a decent amount of health. And if you look at the rest of his team, the only threat to this at this point is either the Zardex or the uh, the Dragalge. So I'm going to pull the trigger here and I'm going to go directly into uh, my Milotic. As I'm going to get off a of Hidden Power, it's going to do a lot. That's Hidden Power Electric, Life Orb. Uh, but he does get off a of Toxic. Had he missed there, uh, I would have actually had a really good shot of winning. Uh, but because he does hit... I'm, uh, I'm forced to click HP Electric again, I'm going to take Life Orb, I'm going to take Toxic, uh, and then on the following turn, I'm just going to click Surf as it does knock this thing out. Uh, once again, Life Orb plus Toxic does we wear me down way too much. Uh, he's going to go into his Zard, he's obviously going to uh, go for the Thunder Punch here. Could have switched into Mudsdale, didn't really feel like doing that. Uh, I'm going to go into Reen now, and I'm going to click Fake Out uh, as it ensures the kill on the following turn, and uh, then I'm going to go for the Return as it does 2 KO the, uh, the Slow King on the Switch. And he's going to bring it in here, and uh, I can't risk my Lopany at this point, even though I know his Keldeo is Scarfed, uh, I can't afford to uh, to risk my Lopany because it does too well against this, as well as the Rotom. Uh, if this thing's low enough, then uh, Lopany can actually just win. So I'm going to go into Jar here, and we're going to attempt to, to try to, to bring this back. I'm going to synth up my Gorgeist, and uh, he's going to go for the Defog, get rid of the rocks one last time. That's really going to help him with his Slow King with his uh, Keldeo as well. We are going to get off the burn on this Rotom, luckily. Uh, and I am going to switch into Mudsdale on this turn as he does go for the Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't care if he um, if he Leaf Storms uh, on that turn because it just means that he lowers his special attack and allows back in my Gorgeist anyway. So he's going to go for Leaf Storm this time. And uh, I am going to Synth back up. But I'm running, I'm running out of Synths uh, at this point. Uh, I'm down to, I believe, four uh, on this turn. And he's going to go into Sloking. I'm going to get off a Leech Seed. He's going to go for the Psy Shock. Good play on his part. He is physically defensive. He doesn't really have to worry about Seed Bomb. And uh, now he's going to be able to switch back out into his Rotom. As I go for another Synthesis, take, uh, I think, 24 this turn. Yeah, 24 from the uh, the Toxic. I'm going to switch back out into Nui. He's going to go for the Leaf Storm, uh, trying to catch my Mudsdale. So that's really good for me, as that's going to allow me to go back into my Mudsdale at this point and uh, try to get back up my Rocks. Uh, I know his full set on his Rotom. I know he doesn't have Pain Split, so what I'm trying to do is weaken him severely. Uh, he's going to go for Skull. That does way too much to me, uh, and he does get the burn, so I'm not going to be able to rest off, unfortunately. Uh, that's what it looks like at this point anyway, but I am going to switch out into Gorgeist and uh, on his Slack Off, 
trying to catch that on that turn. And uh, then we're going to go for another Leech Seed. He's going to go for another Psy Shock, wearing me down a little bit further. Now, at this point, uh, I should go into Mudsdale at this point, but I, I do end up synthing because I need to be, at, again, at a relatively good amount of health to take on the Keldeo as well as the Rotom. Uh, as now, I'm going to switch back into my Mudsdale. Uh, he's going to go back into his Rotom. And uh, I believe I just go for the Roar here, if I'm not mistaken. No, I switch back into my Gorgeist. Uh, again, frisking the Electrium. He's going to go for another Defog. What I should have done on that turn is just uh, spammed Rocks uh, and let Mudsdale go down because it doesn't do anything at this point. Uh, he's going to go for Volt Switch again, go into his Slow King. Uh, I'm going to go for Synthesis. Essentially, if the Rotom dies, then Mudsdale uh, comes back online a little bit, even though he has two Water types. Uh, but he's going to go for Psy Shock. He's going to wear me down further. And uh, I mean, going Rotom is really free for him. Uh, which he should do every time at this point, but he does choose to Scald, so good play on his part. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Lopany. Uh, he's going to go into his Keldeo directly on my Fake Out. Very good play on Mono's part, knowing that nothing would kill him. Had I clicked the High Jump Kick there, I might have been able to knock him out, I'm not sure. Uh, and that would have really freed up Lopany to the, uh, for the end game. Uh, but that's not what I end up doing. As uh, he's going to go into his uh, Rotom, I'm going to go for a Seed Bomb. And uh, he's down to 7%. Uh, however, he does still have the Electrium, which is easily going to be able to knock me out uh, through Thunderbolt. And uh, then final turn right here, uh, the Rotom does actually go down, so Lopany doesn't get a kill. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to go for the Fake Out on the Kelio uh, for a little more extra chip, and then obviously he's Choice Scarfed, so he's going to knock us out with a Secret Sword right there. Uh, so, pretty close game. I think if I had clicked Counter on the Zard, uh, it would have been a lot better for me, because uh, Mudsdale wouldn't have been as important to keep around. And on top of that, Gorgeist could come in without any fear, really, uh, and then just spam um, Leech Seed every single time. It could come in on things like Keldeo on the uh, on the Slow King, obviously. I would have still ended up getting Toxic, and I think it would have been a better thing to, uh, to have um, to have uh, Heal Bell on Sylveon, obviously looking back at it, but uh, that is, uh, that's Mono for you. He loves his Toxic, and I learned my lesson. A lot of people told me that he liked Toxic before I even uh, played the game, but I didn't really uh, pay too much heed to it, and I should have, uh, so that's my own fault, but uh, rather close game. GG to Mono, guys. Uh, if you guys uh, want to go and check him out in the description, uh, his video is already out by the time this one's out, so... Uh, definitely go and check out his side, his commentary. Uh, he has, uh, I, I love his thought process. Uh, I'm a fan of Mono, so definitely go and uh, go and see his side. And uh, if you guys didn't enjoy, if you're still enjoying us, uh, uh, our games, even though we are losing, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like for me, and uh, we, I will catch you guys next week. We are taking on Jolt, uh, who is number one in the league right now, of course. So uh, that should be quite interesting, uh, quite an intriguing game to see if uh, if we can pull that out. Um, that would be something if I could actually beat Jolt in D-League and in, uh, in GBA Main League. His team is actually really, really strong. Uh, we'll see if, uh, if I can pull something out for him. And anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Again, if you did enjoy, like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.